So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make dynamic colored progress bars in Google Sheets that not only dynamically update based on the data entered, but also dynamically change the color as well. And so you can do it with just a basic green, yellow, red. You can do custom colors. I'm also going to show you how to calculate the percentage in case you don't have it or comparing to a fixed goal. All right, so let's jump right in. So let's start with our basic one and then we'll go through some more advanced options and things you can do. So very basic, we'll do equals sparkline. And then if we open this up, if you don't see this, it'll just be this question mark here. And then this tells you the parameters that it's expecting to see. So the first thing is data. And so in this case, we're using a simple just percentage data. So I can go ahead and click on the cell comma and it brings it back up again and again if you're not seeing this you need to just click on this question mark and then the next thing is we have an object so it has this curly braces around it and then some different options that we're setting within it so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to adjust it so you can do that as well if you like and so for example we could just do this and then there it shows up now this isn't quite right because this is a really small so if we change this max, however, this max is what the max value of that chart will be. And so if I change it to two, for example, you can see it's about halfway. And so that's because it's setting. Basically, this is actually 200%. I change it to 200%. You see there. So 100% is half of 200%. So what we want to do is set this to 100%, for example. And now 100% is 100% of that. And so if we drag this down. You can see now it's reflected appropriately. That's the super basics, but we want to add some other things here. For example, the color, and that's why you're here probably. And so we're going to do color one as our option. And I need to adjust this here. So let me explain something real quick. So what this is, is a series of keys and values. So our first key is chart type, and then we tell it chart type is bar. And so each one is a pair. And so you separate the pair with a comma. And then each new one you separate with a semicolon. So that's why I need to change this from comma to semicolon. And then comma again. And now we can set our color one. So for example, we could do green. If I drag this down, now it's green all the way down. Now this is great, but we want to adjust this color based on this value. So the way we're going to do that, if you look at this format down below, is we're going to use ifs. So we're using ifs, not if, because ifs allows us to look at different conditions and it'll just apply the first one. And so what we're going to do is make sure we put this in the correct order. And so you can see I have a particular order here. So we're starting with, for example, C5 is a greater than 75%. And I'm doing this first, and I'll sh show you here in a second. So let me start with green. And then our next one is C5 over 50%. So I'm doing this one first because, um, let's say 100%, 100% is also greater than 50. So if we had this one first, it would use this one, which would be yellow. But because we put this one first, it's going to check this first. If it is over 75%, then it's going to go ahead and go green. And even though it's actually over 50% as well, it's only going to do green, not yellow. And so let me just change these to greater than or equals to. You can decide how you want to do that. You can set your own values here as well. And then finally, we need our default or our negative one. So let's do C5 less than 50%. And so notice here, greater than or equals to, and this one's less than. And then this one we can do red. So just like that, let's drag it down. And there we go. So that's the very basics of how you can put this together. And then we're going to show you how to calculate if you don't have the percentage right there. So this one works as a percentage. Now, the reason why this works here is because we're using 100% here. We could change this to 1, and it still works the same way. But the reason why, let me explain. If we change this display to a number, now maybe it makes a little more sense. So we have 1, comparing 1 to 1. And so that's obviously 100%. This one's 0.9 to 1. Right, so that's what the percentage is calculating, and that's why we can just do 
one or 100%, obviously the same thing, and then that works. Now, if we don't have a percent, we need to figure out what we're comparing to. And so, for example, here we have 10 out of 10. Now, that's still 100%, right? But we don't have 100% based on this. What if we don't know what that is? And we'll show you that with this fixed goal over here. So let's go ahead and copy this and then double click and paste it over here. So currently it's still reading from over here. So let's change it to H5. I'm gonna change it to H5 across the way here. And there we go. So there's that. Now, one thing we could do, I'll show you a couple different ways to handle this. One thing we could do is where we have our max set, we could change it to that goal cell. And so now if we drag this down. So now the issue with this is it is reading this correctly. However, it isn't changing the color. And so that's the one downside of doing it this way is it does give us the right chart size, but not the right color. And so let's go down to what we had here. So if we turn this into a percentage, so maybe H5 divided by I5, that gives us a percentage. If we change this back to one or 100%, either way. Now, if we drag it down, we again have the right chart. Now, this part isn't calculating because it's not changing this in a percent. So, what we need to do here is we can change this over here. And then, if we drag this down, now it's calculating correctly. So, one thing you may want to be careful with is sometimes the order of this won't be correct. Right now, it is doing this beforehand. But sometimes you may want to put these inside parentheses just to make sure that happens first. And so typically that's how I do it. Obviously, in this case, it still worked, but it's something to keep an eye on. If it's not, that may be what you need to do. So there we go. We have now duplicated the same thing, but now we have the goal here. And again, if we change this here, you can see that changes. So this works great if you have maybe a goal on each row or something like that. Um, or if you're just building a little dashboard, you can do it there as well and see your chart there just like that now let's look at one more thing here on this goal and then i'm going to show you how to incorporate some custom color codes to make this look a little bit i'll say better um, these colors are a little abrasive to my eye but so what if we have a goal maybe off in a different cell instead of on each row or with the data like this so then all we have to do and you can see that in my last example here is instead of doing it over this goal we're going to change it to our fixed goal, which is L5. So I can change these to L5. I'm going to show you one more thing we'll have to do here. I'm going to demonstrate what happens if we don't. So we change it to L5. Great, right? So I drag it down, and what just happened? Well, what happened is this is dragging down. So the cell references are changing, but we don't want it changed for this one because it's only in this cell. So here's what we'll do. If you have F4 on your keyboard, you should be able to hit it and it'll add these dollar signs. If you're not, what you just need to do is add a dollar sign at least before the five. You can do it with both if you want, but at least add it before the five. And what this dollar sign does is it tells Google not to change this reference if we drag this formula around. So I can just go ahead and add it before all the fives here. And now if I drag this down, if we go to the next one, it's still L5. That's working great. Now if I drag it down the rest of the way, and now we're back. So now you can see our goal here. So we change it back to 10. That's going to be the same as our goal here. You can see those percentages. All right. So last thing, let's show you how to incorporate some color codes. So instead of just using green, let's actually use a custom color code. So you can look online, find some RGB codes. That's what this is. Four different colors. And so then you can swap instead of saying green, you can swap that color and it immediately changes. And then I'm going to change this yellow. And then finally change that red. And then I'll drag this down again. And there you go. A little more muted colors. So you can obviously find whatever colors you want. You can change these to, you know, blue, whatever colors you want in there. It could be branded colors. And then that's how you do that. All right, and then I'll do one more thing real quick here. I'm just going to show you what if you want to add a percentage right here uh, next to this. And so you could do some visual things here. For example, 
uh, we could change this border to white and get that there between them and it makes it visually look like these are connected and then we could just do a little percentage so if we're doing for example here we can drag that down change that to percentage maybe make this a little smaller something like that and that makes a very quick visual representation there and then if you're using that l5 you do that and again hit f4 or at least lock before that five and then what happened here oh it's m now there we go i can drag this down and now if we change this goal you can see all those percentages dynamically update all right so that is it for today's video make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful for you and check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.